So, hey guys, Chaucer here. And yeah, I'm going to do a re reaction video. I'm reacting to the news about Korea, what Korea are getting from the merge, and it's actually insane. I'm actually pretty upset right now. And I'm not upset that Korea are getting stuff, it's that it's totally disproportional what Korea get and global get. Okay, so let's start with what global gets from the merge. Uh, from the merge, global are getting 50 games. That is confirmed. Korea will also get that 50 games. On top of that, Korea will get an extra 50 games for their server closing. Absolutely fair. If it stopped there, I'd, I wouldn't complain. The problem is that it goes way beyond that. Korea will also get a full reset of every mission. They will reset their shopper map so they can do the rookie missions again for 200 games. They will reset the story missions. So that's all the islands. Like if you look at this, all of these will reset and also the harder difficulties. We're, talk we're talking between 350 and 400 games just from story. And they will also reset all first clear in extra island. And that might not seem like a lot, but if you look at the recollection archive. Yeah, it's loading a bit. <laughs> we'll have to wait for that, but it's a lot more than you can imagine, I'm sure. Wow, it's really loading. I don't usually get these slow loading times. But yeah, just to summarize, like clashes, we're talking like two games per clash at least. So that's not a hefty amount. The big amount comes from all of the colos. Turning off the internet. Okay, there we go. Like like it will get take time to get all the games, but look, all these clashes, you get the clear game from them at least. One game for each of these. So just these are like over 50 games just from clashes. But then we have all the colos and you have to remember that a lot of the colos have extra games, especially in chaos. Like I will be surprised if these colos give like over close to 200 games. So like we're talking about 200 games from the Shopperman missions. They get extra because they have time to finish the master quest before the merge. They can just do it again after the merge. We are talking like 350, 400 from the story. Let's say 550 games so far. Like at least 50 games from Clashes. We're up to 600. And then we have the Colosseum. Let's just say 200 give or take and let's say that they get like 80 games not to and your stuff like training all of these give one game so that's 16 more games depending on the reset we have garp again so they can do garp again that month if they do it before that's like close like 80 games more like as you see we might be approaching like 1000 games in total like you have like the rumble stuff reset, like there's a lot of stuff. But yeah, let's just say like 900 games more. So global gets 50 games and Korea gets like around 900 games, give or take. And that's just disproportionate as hell. I don't mind Korea getting that, but there's no reason Korea should get that, but not current global players. Like... There will have been one thing if Korean players coming in were getting hit with a shit ton of uh, bad side effects. Like, oh, they have to restart everything with treasure map. They have to start in their own league. They have to start at the bottom of Rumble. Like, they have to work themselves up again. But, nope, none of that. They keep their box. They 
keep their league in treasure map. It says that if they qualify for Rumble Finals, they will still be part of the Rumble Finals. The only really bad thing for them that we don't get is a full friendlies reset. Which sucks honestly, but I wouldn't mind a friendlies reset if I got 900 games. Like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I really don't want this to come off as hate toward Koreans. I don't mind the merge at all. It makes sense for Bandai and I don't really care about it being a bit more competitive. Like the different f difference for me personally will be kind of minor. The biggest part will probably be treasure map, like top 20 will be harder for me sometimes. But I've got my number one, so I'm not really aiming at getting the top ranks anymore, so I'm a bit whatever with that. And bigger treasure map is good for everyone because it, the thresholds for percent and such get higher. With the side effect of more competition, of course. So I'm really not opposed to the idea, but yeah, it's just too disproportionate. Like, now we have one side super hyped for the merch. I'd be super hyped with this news. And the other side is like, yeah, we get something, but yeah, we, get, we don't get anything in comparison. And like, I can understand why this happens. I don't think this is like, Bandai is like, we have to throw goodies at the Korean so they will quit. Like, I'm sure less will quit when they know this. Like, it's a very nice bonus for them. But yeah, I really think the reality is that they are treated as new accounts. And Bandai are putting some effort in to, yeah, keep in the box, trash my placing and such. But they may be taught that, yeah, double checking what missions they have cleared and everything. That's too much work. So it was easier to just do it like this. And they probably figure, yeah, like... Yeah, we'll keep them happy too, like we're closing their server and all of that. But yeah, it's very... It's very troublesome now because we're going to become this bigger global fam family. And it's like the new kid in the family gets thrown all the sweets and such. And the older one, the rest of us are like... Kind of forgotten in some way. I do want to note that we haven't got any more official info on global, so... We might get more than the 50 games announced. But yeah, I, I can see this becoming a big deal for many players. Like, there's really no reason for Korea to get that more than global. We're, we'll basically be equals once they merge. It's not like globe, current global players are favored in any kind of way compared to Korea. So yeah, let me know what you think. I'm... <laughs> Pretty upset right now because I'm just assuming Global won't get anything close to what Korea gets. Bandai are very happy to surprise me. But yeah, feel free to share what you think. Thanks for hearing me out. See you next time.